Are you thinking of buying a home in the Savannah, Georgia area, but you don't necessarily want to live right in the city? Well, we are talking about cities near Savannah, Georgia, and we are starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen Carr, a realtor in Savannah with Keller Williams Coastal Area Partners. If you are new here and you are interested in all things real estate in Savannah, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I publish new videos every Monday and you don't want to miss anything. Today we are talking about cities near Savannah, Georgia. So let's get started with my personal top five favorites. Number one, Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill is a small town of about 10,000 people. It is on the southwest side of Savannah. It is known for its good schools, its low crime rate, it's a very popular area, and it's a great place for people to consider when they've got kids and they don't want to put their kids in private schools. It's also a very popular town for people that are in the military. It's roughly halfway between Fort Stewart and Hunter Army Airfield, so people like to live in Richmond Hill if they're gonna be commuting to either one of these bases. Next on our list is Pooler. Pooler is the home to the airport, which services not only Savannah, but also Hilton Head, South Carolina. Pooler has seen explosive growth in the last 10 or 15 years. There is a ton of shopping, a whole bunch of restaurants, the Tanger Outlet stores, um, new construction, so you're able to get a lot of house for very little money, and Pooler's roughly 20, 25 minutes from downtown Savannah, so it's not really a long commute at all. Next on our list is Guyton. Guyton is in Effingham County, and it's known for its really good public schools. It's a very small town. It is still very country in feel. Not a lot of shopping and restaurants yet, but it is growing by leaps and bounds. I think Guyton is gonna be one of the towns to watch as far as explosive growth over the next 10 to 20 years. Of all the homes that sold in Guyton in the last 60 days, more than half were new construction. So if you want to build a house from scratch, you wanna find your neighborhood, pick out your lot, pick out your floor plan, pick your flooring and your countertops and your light fixtures, Guyton is definitely one of the areas to consider. Next on our list is Rinkin. Rinkin is also in Effingham County and is known for its really good schools. It is not quite as built up as Pooler is, but more so than Guyton. So we've got a great big Walmart and a giant Kroger superstore, lots of restaurants. It's easy to get to the freeway, but there's not a lot of traffic here yet except during rush hour on Highway 21. But compared to Pooler Parkway, for example, at lunchtime, which has a lot of traffic, since that's the main drag for all of the shopping, uh, Rinkin is not quite there. So Rinkin is a great area to consider as well if you're looking for great schools, reasonable house prices, and reasonable commute distance to the city. And number five on our list is the islands. Now, these are part of Savannah, they are part of Chatham County, but they kind of seem like their own little area, so I'm considering them their own. Um, Tybee is not on this list. Tybee is a whole different animal. But if you wanna be close to the beach without paying millions of dollars for a beachfront property, if you want to have that kind of island feel and still need an affordable house, the islands are the place to be. Whitmarsh Island, Wilmington Island, Talahi, um, Skidaway, these are the places to be if you like the idea of coastal living, maybe you're a boat owner, you want to be out on the water all the time, you want to go to the beach every weekend, you want to run out to Tybee and eat lots of seafood, you love the whole idea of living close to the ocean, but you don't want to pay $700,000 for the privilege of doing so, living on one of these islands is a great place to consider. So that is our roundup of cities near Savannah, Georgia. If you're thinking of buying a new home, click the link below, go to our website and search for your new property there and learn all about our virtual reality house hunting service. It is the first of its kind in the Savannah area and it's free of charge. So let me tell you all about it if you're ready to start looking at houses. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every Monday about all things real estate in the Savannah, Georgia area. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.